Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part five of our series of session of the playlist of utilities. So in this session, we will see a couple of uh, hidden keyboard shortcuts and see how useful they are under what circumstances. And also there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts, which in my opinion, generally most of them do not notice those uh, utility so we will explore this in today's session. Let's go to Tally and explore this keyboard shortcuts. Let us explore the first hidden key. Let's take a use case. Assume that you are viewing the profit and loss account statement. So you are in the gateway of Tally. The cursor is already there in the profit and loss account. Press enter. And now you are viewing the profit and loss account. And by default, as you are aware, the tally will always produce the report in the condensed format. Now, if you want to see in the detailed format, there are two ways of doing it. One is that on the right hand side button bar, even though this button does not have any action command, you will see that there is this blue color arrow. When you click on here, you will see a button which is Alt F5 which means you can now view the detail of any report that you are viewing. Now this, since it is an hidden key, you will have to remember this keyboard shortcut that is Alt F5. So when I click on detail, you will see the entire report gets expanded to the first level of detailing. Again, for us to collapse, you have to press Alt F5. It will collapse. You can also use another keyboard shortcut which is used as part of tally ERP command that is Alt F1. Alt F1 is the detailed keyboard shortcut which still works in tally prime also. You have two keyboard options that is Alt F1 to expand and collapse and also Alt F5 to expand and collapse. So I'm going to press Alt F5. We are seeing the condensed mode. Now, when you press Alt F1 or Alt F5, the entire report gets detailed. Let us say that you don't want to get the detail of all the groups. You want to view or analyze only a particular group. For example, you want to see the detailing of indirect expenses along with the values of the other information that you are seeing in the profit and loss account. Now, when you select indirect expenses and press enter, it takes you to the next level of indirect expenses, but you will be losing the information of your other values in your profit and loss account. So I'm going to press escape. So how do we handle this? This is where we have this hidden keyboard shortcut of exploding a selected group only. Currently, if you see the cursor is there on indirect expenses, just hold shift and enter. You will notice that the ledges under the indirect expenses group is exploded. And you are also able to view other information, which means you are able to stay in the profit and loss account and detail only a selective group of your intent. So how do we collapse it? Again, use your shift enter. You can collapse it. If you are a mouse user, then all you have to do is just right click. It will expand and right click again. It will collapse. The next hidden keyboard shortcut, let us understand. So I'm going to press shift enter. Let us say you are now viewing the indirect expenses, the detailed information. Now, for some reason, let's say that when you are analyzing the indirect expenses, you realize that the maintenance charges should have been part of your direct expenses. But whereas this currently has been classified or grouped under indirect expenses. Now, as you are viewing this report, you would want to quickly correct this information for you to have a proper analysis of your profit and loss account. So how do we do this? You don't have to go back and alter the master right from here you can alter your master. The keyboard shortcut is control enter. When you press control enter, it will take you to the ledger master alteration or if you are selecting a group and when you press control enter, it will take you to the group alteration master. Now here, 
you can alter the master of your intent now as per our example we wanted to change this to direct expenses so all you have to do is select direct expenses and press control a you will notice that the maintenance charges is moved out of indirect expenses now let us go to direct expenses and press shift enter and you will see here that instantaneously tally is regrouped your ledger from indirect expenses to direct expenses the other ignored keyboard shortcut in my observation is let us go to the chart of account so i am going to click go to and then type chart of account enter and let us select ledgers so here we have the list of ledgers along with its parent which is group as you are analyzing let us assume that you want to add a ledger under a particular group for example let us say you want to add a customer ledger under sundry debtors so all you need to do is bring your cursor to any ledger under that particular group and press alt c it will take you to ledger creation master and the best part is the under group will already be pre selected so all you need to do is just type the name of the ledger and you can quickly save it similarly let's say you want to create a ledger under sundry creditors all you need to do is press alt c and you will notice that the under group is selected as sundry creditors even though you have this button at the bottom which is create master uses tend not to notice this and deprive of this very useful feature of creating a master from the chart of account i hope the simple keyboard shortcuts will be of great relevance and will be very handy when you are analyzing the data and also when you are updating your masters so thank you all once again for staying till the end See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.